The second most asked question we get in the spring, aside from how to take care of those dandelions, is, is it a good time to seed and should we be seeding in the spring? And generally the better answer is, we should sod in the spring and not seed. And why is that? Well, because the soils are cold and so it's hard to get that seed to germinate. And then we have issues with uh, young seedlings handling the, the summer stress. And third biggest reason that most lawn seedings fail in the spring is because we have annual weed competition and so our seedlings can't outcompete those weeds. But if you're like me and your lawn has some problems and you're feeling ambitious, you want to try to, to uh, seed that lawn in the spring and that's exactly what I did. And so the first question we need to have is, why is our lawn failing? Why are we going to seed it now? And so we have to look at this lawn. There's multiple reasons why this lawn is failing. The first reason is, well, we have some big dog spots that are, uh, were killed this winter and we need to take care of because we can't have these big large spots dead all summer long. Another issue we have is some shade from this maple tree. This lawn is on the north side of the property and it's underneath a, a dense shaded uh, maple. That grass is thinning out. We also have some issues with grading and bumps in the ground that cause scalping when we mow. And so we're gonna go through and you know, uh, fix this lawn so that the, you know, we can have a nice, long standing, sustainable uh, turf into the future. And so some of the steps that we took to get the grass to uh, grow and, and mature is first to increase soil temperatures. We scalped the lawn down a couple of weeks prior to seeding. This lets the sun's radiation get down to that soil heat up that soil so we have better chance of germination. We did this by lowering the mower as, as low as we possibly could, and every time we mowed, we actually took the clippings off, which is something we don't recommend generally, but for this situation, we want those clippings away. Then we went through with a dethatching unit and removed all the thatch from the lawn. We set the, the dethatcher nice and low to remove as much dead material that's there from our, our previous lawn so we have a good seed to soil contact and a good seed bed into the future. Then we seeded multiple directions with the seeder. Using a slit seeder you can rent is a great way to help ensure we have good seed to soil contact because it drops the seed right into the slits. And uh, then we rolled over the lawn and began to water it. Um, and in future episodes we'll talk about what we did for fertility and herbicides and, and irrigation throughout the course of this growing to get this lawn looking good. And so over the course of this year, we'll continue to come back and evaluate the steps and some of the troubles that I've had getting this lawn established in the springtime because it's not easy, but we can make it work with the right tools.